In this lesson, we are going to talk about the differences between independent, dependent, and mixed group research designs. Let's start with the independent groups design. Also referred to as a between participant design, independent groups design involves participants that are independently and randomly assigned to each level of the independent variable. The independent and random nature of assignment to groups gives us the best shot at having groups of participants that are equivalent to each other. If we picked and chose which participants went into each group, we may unknowingly apply some sort of sorting criteria that may end up making the groups different from each other. For example, if we put all the first responders to the study in one group and everyone else in the second group, we may end up with different characteristics of participants in each group. It could be that the first recruitment flyer went up at a university and so all of the first responders ended up being university students. In this type of design, the scores from one group are considered to be independent of the scores in the other group or groups. What we mean by independent is that the scores come from participants who likely have no sort of relationship with one another. For example, in a study of how music affects sleep quality, we may assign half of our participants to a condition in which music is played while they sleep and the other half of the participants to a second condition in which no music is played during sleep. When we compare the scores for our measure of sleep quality between the group that listened to music and the group that did not listen to music, we can say that the scores of the two groups are independent of each other since different participants were assigned to each condition. We can also have multiple levels of the independent variable in an independent group's design. Let's say we want to see if different types of music affect sleep differently. We could have a classical music condition, a rock and roll condition, and then our control condition of no music. In this case, we have three total levels of the independent variable so we would have three groups of participants, one for each condition. We can even have an independent groups design when there is more than one independent variable. Sometimes we may want to know how multiple variables affect our dependent variable. For example, say we want to know not only how music affects sleep, but also the time the participant goes to bed either before midnight or after midnight. This is referred to as a factorial design when we have multiple independent variables. When we have independent groups in a factorial design, participants are randomly assigned to each level of more than one independent variable. So for example, a single participant may find herself in the classical condition of the music variable and the before midnight condition of the time to bed variable. We would similarly fill in the time to bed conditions with the participants so that half from each music condition also experience either one or the other time to bed condition. Since the participants are experiencing one condition of each variable at the same time, it may be easier to view the breakdown of conditions like so. Now we can see the combination of conditions from each independent variable that each participant gets to experience. Keep in mind that ideally we would have many participants experiencing each possible combination of conditions, not just one participant for each condition. So for example, we would want a whole group of participants experiencing rock and roll while going to bed before midnight, not just one as shown here, but you get the idea. We can alternatively have a dependent groups design. We'll talk about that next and how it differs from independent groups design. Typically in this type of design, 
the same participants participate in all levels of the independent variable, and their scores for each level of the independent variable are compared to each other. This type of design is also referred to as a within participants or repeated measures design. Scores are said to be dependent on each other in this case since the scores from one condition came from the same participants as the scores from the other condition. Because the same participants are used in each condition, it is expected that the scores are going to be related in some way. A dependent group's design applied to our earlier example of how music affects sleep quality would give us a single group of participants participating in each condition of the independent variable. In other words, all participants would participate in the music condition one night and then participate in the no music condition the next night. Another type of dependent group's design is one in which matched sets of participants are assigned in such a way that one member of each matched set is randomly assigned to each condition of the independent variable. This is referred to as a match group's design. Scores are dependent on each other in a match group's design as well since the groups are initially equivalent at least on the variable that was used to match the sets of participants. So, we may use two different groups in our music and sleep study, but apply a match group's design by making sure the two groups are equivalent on a participant variable of age. We can do this by recruiting participants in pairs so that each pair is of the same age. Then, we split each pair of participants so that one participates in one condition and the other participant in the other condition. As with independent groups design, we can have multiple levels of the independent variable in a dependent groups design. For example, if we want to test out our three different conditions of music type, classical, rock and roll, and no music, in a dependent groups design, we would assign all participants to all three conditions so that each participant gets to experience each condition. We also can have a within participants factorial design. If we add in the independent variable of time to bed, then, well, we are keeping our participants quite busy since they would have to experience all six possible combinations of conditions. All three music conditions combined with a before midnight time to bed condition, and then all three music conditions combined with an after midnight time to bed condition. Let's now talk about mixed group design. Sometimes we have study designs in which one or more variables are assessed between participants as in an independent group's design, and another variable or variables assessed within participants, as in a dependent group's design. This is referred to as a mixed design. Let's say we want to assess music type between participants and time to bed within participants. This means that we would have three groups of participants, one for each condition of the music type condition. Each participant would experience both conditions of the time to bed variable. So in review, we can have an independent groups design where different participants participate in each condition of the independent variable. Or we can have a dependent groups design where the same participants participate in each condition. Finally, we can have a mixed design with two or more independent variables. One in which all participants participate in all conditions, assessed within participants, and the other in which different groups of participants participate in each condition, assessed between participants. Music